Hello everyone, welcome to the 27th iOS tutorial. In this tutorial we continue talking about HTTP request and how we create the HTTP GET request and POST request. If you haven't watched the first part, you just click link above and it will direct you to that video. Okay, if you remember from previous tutorial, we created this UI view for our application and we assigned news TVC for this view controller, table view controller and we created these two files uh, which is UI table view controller as subclass and it uh, has some auto generated code let's just remove the commented code to make our application much cleaner we don't need the receive memory warning we do need these two delegate methods which is number of section in row in yeah number of section in table view and also number of uh, rows in section uh, if you don't know what are these delegate methods, you should go back and watch uh, our previous tutorials, which one of them I'm sure uh, was about the table view controller. And we don't need these uh, commented out uh, codes, so let's get rid of them. We also need this one. Um, I will uh, remove comment as a comment, so for right now it's okay. We can just leave it as is. But let's uh, use this class. We, if you remember from the previous tutorial, we created this. Actually, we cheated and we copy paste these two files, which is restapi.h and restapi.m. If I want to use these two class, I have to initialize it. First, I create a property for this. Like say, at sign property. <coughs> sorry, non-atomic strong. And the type is REST API, so at first I have to import it. Um, import REST API.h. Remember, we have to import just .h file. So I create the uh, instance for it, REST API, and I call it REST API and that's it okay now we have to initialize it the best way to initialize it is using lazy instantiation so i would say mm, sorry rest api and rest api and we would say if uh, underscore rest api was nil then um, and say rest api is equal mm, rest api alloc in it okay now we have to create a request and the way that we create the request uh, by helping from uh, but getting help from this method that we added in rest api just HTTP request and sending our request. That's simple as it is. So let's go back to news TVC and say, okay, uh, we want to create a method. Um, okay, it returns nothing, so we say void. And the name of the method we call it HTTP get request. And okay, and now. I would say ns string and what is this string? str it's equal to this is the um, URL that we are going to send the request so the URL that uh, we used in this tutorial is uh, guardian which fetches the news so the URL is content dot guardian yeah. APIs.com slash search uh, API key equal test. And that's it. This is the URL that we are going to send the request. If we want to send the request to your server, you have to uh, add your server URL here. And this is str. One thing that we have to do for, for this string is to escape the special characters. For example, when it reached to this point, or especially for this case, if you had this character in our URL, 
um, it should escape these special characters uh, and we do it with this command we say str equals uh, str string by adding percentage and it escapes the special characters so we use this and we say ns utf8 and code so this is how we escape the special characters and now we create the ns url ns url because we have to uh, convert this string to url so we say ns url so it would be our url and we say ns url ns url url with string url with string and the string that we just created string. so now we can say we can create our request and say ns mutable mutable um, url request and we call it request if you want to send uh, create a request you have to use this uh, type of the uh, objective c class so ns url ns mutable url request and we instantiate it with ns mutable url request request with url and we said we, we add our url here that we created here so and now we have to specify the method of our request so we say request and set http mm, http method and the method for us is get you remember we create this get in dot h file here this is how we use it this is just a um, uh, constant it's not constant it's um, oh my god I really forgot the name of the uh, it's macro <laughs> and so we use this get we can just simply say and string and say get but since we have the instance so we say get and at the last Point, we just use our um, REST API method which is HTTP request so let's use it we say self dot REST API the instance that we created here with this property we call this property and we say HTTP request now we send our request to this and our request is complete now so in order to actually see what will happen we will run the program and we add some breakpoints for this rest api .h and .m file to see what information that we receive so let's go on okay if i run this program nothing would happen because we have not called this method yet so in order the best place for calling this method is after view did load so we can say self http get request and when we call this method again we won't see anything because there's nothing yet inside of our table view uh, we can't see but we can set a breakpoint to see what will happen when we um, call this REST API HTTP request and let's go back to REST API .h. and if we see the implementation of this file let's go, go to the .m and open the request or did we see request and this one or this one yeah this is the method for the request I put uh, breakpoint for all of these um, methods to see where is it going after we run the program so if I run it again 
it will stop here it wants to send our request so it's in we are now inside of rest api.m file and we since we call this method it is coming here and it runs this um you method which is connection with request and it sends our request if i go to the next step by this if you don't know how to debug we have a session that completely described how we debug the program and put the breakpoint watch that tutorial so if i go to the next step it will bring us to the did receive data this is the time that we append the data we get some data we append it and we at the end we will see the complete data so if i get some print from this data that we receive you'll get some idea how the data would look like so i would say um, po for print and say data if you can see the data would look like this it's something that just computer can read it and understand it we append this kind of data and then we convert it to some human readable so if I go to the next now we our connection did finished and the data is completed now this is the time that this delegate method calls get received data and it sends it back to our actual news uh, TVC we haven't implemented that in this delegate method uh, if you see this delegate method we haven't implemented this but this is the time that this delegate method is called and actually we receive the data from the server so if we go back to rest api and see the breakpoint now the data is completed and we put all if i go one step over it will finish and put everything to nil since the request is finished and it will not go through this um part because our connection didn't fail so if i go to the next step nothing would happen and it doesn't go to this part because the connection was successfully made it. so right now we want to do something with this data we haven't done anything so how can we do this we have to implement this delegate method rest api delegate method to be notified once the data is received so in order to implement it i would call this rest api delegate now as soon as i do this i will get a warning here that i don't have not I've, i have not implemented this get received data so in order to implement it we can go here and copy this uh, method and go back to that m file and implement it actually so right now here and one more thing that we should not forget about delegate method is we had to set our delegate equal to self we didn't do this because we haven't implemented the delegate method but since we want to be notified in this class and this is one of the steps for defining the protocol and delegate should say self dot rest api dot delegate and equal to self and it doesn't need bracket so we put ourselves equal to delegate now as soon as we receive the data we this method will be called so let's test it one more time we play and it will go to the rest api and delegate it is it, it will send the data i will uh, turn off this breakpoint because we already know that it's going there and the next uh, part is connecting the data connection receive. i will also remove this um, breakpoint because we don't need it anymore and at the last time we receive the data this method will be called this method now is inside of our news tvc so 
we want to be sure that this method is called. So we remove this breakpoint, it's not unnecessary now. And now this method is called. Now it is news TVC. This is our call. And we should do something with the data that we receive here. If I uh, print out this data here, I'll say PO data, I will get the same data that I received in the REST API uh, class. So now I will start fetching this data and converting it to a human readable. Before converting our response into some human readable string, let's see um, what would our request look like if we want to send a post request. We have get now, but what it, what would be look like if we want to post request? I just copy paste this same method here down there, and I rename it to post. And let's start with the first line. The first line. I should change this because this is one of the parameter of our post key. If we want to post something, we should have some parameter for post. So uh, let's create a parameter for post. So I call it ns string, and we call it post body. Post body, and it's equal. Hmm, because this is one of the parameters, I just cut it and put it here. So this is one of our post parameters. If we want to add another parameter, we put and sign and the next parameter called next parameter and it's equal for example 10. But since we don't have any parameter and just one call it this and next thing is the same we do the same thing because uh, we just have to remove all of the parameters from the um, URL because this str would be our URL and next thing the same this NS URL the same to create the request we do the same but this time we would say post so instead of get, we say post. And also, one more step we have to do is to define a post body. So we say request set HTTP post body. Set HTTP, uh, HTTP body. Sorry. And what is our body? We can use the um, this uh, variable. But before um, using it, we have to do something like this line to escape the special character. So I would say request body or post request. Yeah. Post body and say data using encoding. Data using encoding and NS U T F encoding. So it will encode it for us and that that's all for post but since this website doesn't allow to do post request I won't use this method but I just wanted to show you how to um, create a post request it's exactly like get but with um, two more steps defining the post body and also uh, setting this post body to our request that's all and the same thing we would receive the data. I think that's all for this tutorial. In next tutorial we'll talk about how to make the response to some human readable um, data.